Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of guys' versatility. Um, Lanny King go, go up and get the ball. Uh, he showed a lot of flashes and made a lot of plays last year. Um, we have Carson Ryan now, and he's kind of a thicker guy that can block, and he can run routes also. Mickey, a uh, great blocker also. Um, we just added Caleb Lohner, too. Big dude, kind of a project, but interesting one, too, because he's super twitchy, athletic, jump out the roof. Um, he's interesting. We have so many guys in the room that can make a lot of plays, and I'm just excited to see how Ludwig kind of implements into the scheme and um, see how he can kind of move us all around and have all this play. Hey, you're one of the guys that actually played in the last rivalry game at BYU. How important was it to get this back in the same confidence like it was back in the day? And how excited are you to try to revenge that loss? It's been a few years now. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, I'm looking forward to playing them. I don't really care if they're in our conference or not. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to get that one back because we lost at their place. I wish we were going to play it there just because um, – I love hostile environments and going to play at BYU is a special one too, just the fans and everything. And uh, it is what it is, though. Um, we owe them one and we're going to prepare the right way. The preseason expectations, you guys aren't really concerned with that, but that is kind of a badge of honor. And you need the confidence to get to win it already. Yeah, um, it's nice, but we don't really look much into it. We just have to prepare the same way that we've done every single year in the Pac 12. Now we're in the Big 12 and uh, new teams, new faces, new environments, and we're excited for it around a lot of good offenses but do you feel like this is maybe the most top to bottom best deep offense that you have or kind of what, what do you see from it yeah i've been in the offense this is my sixth year which is kind of crazy you don't get that a lot especially with the quarterback position he's been in the offense just as long and um, the amount of guys that we have now guys coming back and guys that we added in the transfer portal also freshmen uh, we have a lot of playmakers and a lot of guys that can get the ball and i'm excited for everybody and i think it's going to be surprising what we do this year it's been a while since you obviously field. Do you think there's going to be a bit of an uh, adjustment period for you just because you missed so much time? We'll see. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, spring ball was kind of knocking, uh, knocking off the rust, and I feel good right now. I'm sure once I get out there, maybe a couple plays, but once I start playing and I get hit, I think I'll be completely fine. How important is it that you're back with Cam and you guys already have that chemistry that's already developed? Yeah, it's good. And also, um, a lot of the guys that we added, getting that chemistry also, but it's been better as ever, and um, I feel good about it. We just need to go in the season, everyone healthy and feeling good. You and Cam kind of forged a little bit of a bond as you were going through your injuries and the rehab, and basically on a parallel track, I guess, in a lot of ways. Yeah, I mean, we've been best friends since he's gotten here, and me tearing my ACL and then he also doing it. We kind of helped each other and kind of – talk to each other and just uh, ask a lot of questions and kind of compare the situation. Not really compare because everyone's is different, especially the rehab process. You don't know what you're going through and also vice versa. And it's been good having someone to go through it, especially um, asking things, okay, well, um, how can I do this better or certain things like that, which has been nice. But overall, um, it's been good and we're feeling good. I'm just ready to play. Are you worried about taking a hit at all? No, I'd love to get hit. I'm just, I'm just waiting for that feeling, just that one feeling. I've been kind of hit already, but uh, never in a live action game. But I'm not really worried about it. I just need to get hit and I'll be good. Oh, it's been good. Um, a lot of guys have been coming out. Obviously, money's been consistent. Uh, Dorian is a great player. Um, we've added a lot of playmakers into the room. and Guys are going to be fighting for spots, but it's happy to see that. Instead of one guy making a lot of plays, we're going to have a lot of guys making plays. How difficult was it? Obviously, going through the setback of an injury that was already probably traumatic. I mean, what, what was going through your head at the time, and how have you been able to sort of mentally get back to the place that you were before the injury? Just consistency and reps. That's the biggest thing I can say. Um, it's definitely been difficult, especially the time frame. It's been a long time, but uh, it is what it is. I, I needed the reps for sure. Um, start a spring ball, I didn't, I didn't feel amazing. I, I was a little heavy. I lost weight. Um, got the reps in every single day. I got better, and um, I'm continuing to do so. And fall camp's going to be another um, one that helps me. Also, is there anything different that you plan on doing since the injury happened, that, or full go same as you were? We're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> just head first and um, just play like I used to. If I need to make tweaks, I will. What do you think about all the new schools that the player? I think it's awesome. Uh, being here, this is going to be my seventh season. I've been in the Pac-12 six years. It's kind of nice to be in a new conference, go and play in new places, and 
just experiencing new environments and uh, all those other things is really nice. Called old man uh, on the team by some of the younger guys, grandpa, like that. <laughs> sure. I'm, I mean, I, I've been told I need to leave. I'm old. I don't really care about that. Um, we're all made equal. If you want the spot, come and get it, you know? Does that help you develop as a mentor? Sure, it does. Um, them saying I'm old kind of puts you into like a father role, if that makes sense. But I don't really see it as that. It's just guys being guys, and uh, we just make each other better. Cam's older, right? Cam's a year older. Yeah, Cam is older. Yeah, yeah. Grant, you've obviously been here a long time. We've just made a, a several jokes that you're excited. Um, you know, what in all four of my years of teaching and being the players that have done that, watch this team progress, what kind of information do you gather from that, or, or how do you think this team has changed since those teams have been here now? Coach Wood's done a great job at that. Um, he's developed a program, got smart guys, and he's brought in the right guys, kept the coaches. We need to change as we've made those changes. And uh, just consistency, that's what Coach Whittingham is all about. And it's been good so far. We're going to a new conference, ready to go. And um, we have something to prove. Even though we're on the top, it doesn't really matter. We have something to prove every single day. Well, last question here. Uh, somewhere else there. Uh, as far as just you know, the whole line group, I just can't wait to hit somebody, honestly. It's been so long, and uh, I've seen the Big 12 a little bit bigger guys. I've, I played Texas back in 2019, which is a long time ago, and they're a little bit bigger than what I'm used to, but um, I love the challenge, and it's nice getting hit every now and then, and um, I'm just excited for that challenge.